Hi there, it's Claire Morgan Hughes here from Denver Fear Camp and I just wanted to catch up with you today about that hideous Monday morning feeling. You know what it's like, you've worked super hard all week, you're desperate for the weekend, desperate to turn on that relax and um, chill out button and before you know it, it's gone. You know, the, the alarm clock's going off, it's Monday morning and you've got to get up to train or to get to work or both and um, you're thinking what on earth happened? How on earth are we suddenly on Monday? Um, it can with it can stay with you all week. So you wake up on Tuesday morning, you're still feeling really hideous and um, just need to get back on top of things. Um, hideous worst case scenario it happens on Wednesday and uh, Wednesday and Thursday as well. Um, but yay, it's nearly the weekend, so that's all good. However, I want you to try and ditch that hideous Monday morning feeling before it's even started. So I'm going to give you some top tips today. Um, my first one is to ditch the caffeine. Um, and I am going to talk to you a little bit more about caffeine uh, later on in the week. But do ditch the caffeine. Um, Rumours of it will make you um, more efficient, it will make you, um, you know, more productive and, you know, working much, much quicker. It won't, necessarily. Um, there are lots of reasons for this. And like I say, I'll cover this in, in more detail later on. But... Um, if you want to be more productive and you want to um, stay on top of things and and you know work more effectively, whether it be at home life or in your work life, then the best thing for you to do is to is to ditch the caffeine. My second point is to replace the caffeine with water. It may sound dull, and um, you know I've had lots of clients that have come to me saying, but how, you know I don't want to ditch the caffeine. It makes me feel great, and uh, you know I drink five or six, if not seven, cups of coffee every single day. And they have all come back to me after a week or two and just gone, wow, I feel so much better for it. So my challenge to you today is to, to ditch the caffeine and increase your water intake. And uh, trust me, you'll feel a lot, lot better. Most of us, or a lot of us, are sort of 80, 90% dehydrated. So by drinking lots more water, um, you will certainly have more clarity of thinking. You'll, you will be more productive. Um, you might visit the loo more often, but that's beside the point. Um, but you will, um, like I say, have much, much more clarity of thinking and you'll get an awful lot more done. Again, I'm gonna cover this in a separate topic as well. My third point is um, to plan. Okay, that hideous Monday morning feeling can quite often be because you're completely overwhelmed by what it is that you have to get done. Um, and those that know me will know me that I'm, I'm pretty famous for my lists. And uh, I do sit down and write down exactly what I need to achieve for that week. And then I break that up into smaller sections. So what I absolutely have to get done today, what can wait until tomorrow. And I look at where my deadlines are and then um, plan my day according to that. And if I do wake up feeling a little bit, oh God, how am I gonna get through the day or for the week? Because I feel so completely overwhelmed by all the things I've got to get done. When I have sat down and um, planned out a little bit more, it does make life so much easier. You can then go through and check check off that little list and um, and feel a little bit more on top of things. My next point is, get to bed early. I know that sounds dull as dishwasher, but um, it really, really does make a difference. Sleep, as they say, is the best medicine. And if you're firing on all cylinders because you've had the coffee, then ditching the coffee, again, will help with that really, really good night's sleep. So try not to burn the candle at both ends. Rest is super, super important, not just for healing, um, but for just really, really recharging those batteries. It's very understated sleep. And um, so I would like you to make a determined effort this week to um, get to bed at decent time. Don't just crack on with those with those jobs and um, thinking, you know, I'm, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done. You'll be way more productive if you, like I say, get a decent night's sleep, you know, go to bed and then get up in the morning um, refreshed and raring to go. My fifth point, which is often overlooked, and I know we're all... Um, well, most of us, I know I certainly am, is is I just want you to not be so hard on yourself, you know? Um, we all are. We all charge around, like I say, and think, oh, I haven't done this, oh, no, I haven't done that, oh, my goodness, you know? But if you just take a step back and think, you know, what are the important things in life? What absolutely must get done? You know, I'm hoping that your family and, um, you know, your home life is super important. And, you know, just take a step to think, um, about that and really really you know what what desperately needs doing and, and what doesn't and if you mix all of those five points into one so ditching the caffeine increasing the water 
getting to bed on time, planning what needs to be done or what has to be done and being good to yourself, then that Monday morning feeling won't be quite so bad. And uh, I really hope those top tips have worked. Um, my Monday morning was, well, it, well, it came around super, super quickly, as I'm sure everyone else's did, but having planned and uh, got on top of my water today and, um, and uh, you know, just got myself ahead of, ahead of time as far as that's concerned then, feeling a little bit better about things and I hope you will too. So I'm gonna stop waffling now, so good luck. Let me know how you get on. Let me know if you have any questions that you want answering and I will speak to you very soon. It's Claire here from Devon Fit Camp, bye.